series against Amager earlier today at 2 and they lost 12-0. Now I believe Piranhas and the Paris are pretty much a little bit more at the same level so uh, I'm really looking forward to this game to see uh, what happened there and then after that we have four more games going on on the male side we'll have Austria again playing against Zurich remember this is the third <coughs> game of Australia but it's going to be and they play already against Orcas and against uh, Akaren I mean they had a, a hard day the men we have also four groups with um, three times four teams and one time three teams because there are 15 and the women's are 12 okay 27 teams 15 agents nations uh, it's the largest uh, Champions Cup we ever had and I believe also the largest uh, underwater rugby tournament um, with the participations in the world even counting um, even larger than any other World Cup or European Cup so that's really an amazing thing uh, the game should be starting any minute now um, how's the audience going on <laughs> tenemos a uh, uh, los fans club de las fatis escribiendo ya también eh, de, de piranhas y bueno la verdad um, no can you cannot you hear me hello there no that should be this the cables are all hold on no I'm talking can you hear me uh, ah well yes um, here we are all right the game already started and uh, Faris are white and Piranhas are blue we are in the middle of the pool and who got the balls Piranhas tiene la pelota y está tratando de recuperarla para poder eh, empezar el ataque sin embargo las chicas de Singapur se lo están haciendo nada fácil we are in the surface and now wow one of the Singapore guys got the ball just pass it down we have four or five of the Singapore guys white five whites against two blue and uh, that have been quite dangerous I mean they went with everything they had from the start but they need to be very careful with recovering the defense area because today when they play against uh, I think it was against um, the Danish team they uh, kind of uh, didn't change from the attack to the defense on time and they they kind of got a lot of goals in an uh, empty basket so they have to be careful with that i kind of uh, thought that it, it could be uh, a little bit you know like on the same level but i'm really surprised by the um the first minutes where the fatties have been putting so much pressure if you consider that Piranhas as a more experienced team that has been coming to the Champions Cup during several years and uh, wow wait really well done <coughs> let's see a ver como vamos chicos a ver las chicas de Piranha ahí se tienen que como acomodar un poquitín más porque las chicas de Singapur quieren ganar este juego con todo y si bien son nuevas eh, están demostrando muy buena eh, capacidad de ataque o sea hoy jugaron con eh, contra las danesas pero bueno ahí claro no tuvieron chance eh, perdieron 12 a 0 pero con el equipo de España es como que están más igualitas de nivel y entonces esto mm, quizás se ponga difícil vamos a ver si las chicas de piranhas con su experiencia pueden darse el tiempo encontrar la calma y poder atacar y ganar con, con la experiencia que tienen a ver let's see uh, what time is it Singapore right now it was quite late really I mean it's like like three o'clock or something like this I don't know I can it's so f you know on the other side of the earth that it's just difficult to remember I don't remember if it's 24 22 or 20 hours okay we have one of the piranhas coming onto the goalie of the parties but now she's up with the ball this is one of the things that the maybe the bit less experienced team turned to do and it's go up with the ball you will see pay attention the most experienced teams try to pass always before they go up unless they are locked with the ball by an attacker and are pull up otherwise they try to keep the ball at the bottom of the of the pool wow okay one of the Piralian girls just got the ball and for a minute there the basket was empty but there was not really a reason now we're the uh, Piranha girl is coming to attack but couldn't continue was blocked 
They are passing a sitting position. The attacker now crash against the fins of the defender to swim directly into them. And um, now we have they are in a bit too high, two meters away, and uh, pass it farther. And we have quite a bit of chaos. And we have one of the Pirania girls on the goalie and pull the goalie up, but couldn't uh, score. And we still have all the Piranias underneath the goalie. And that ball that not want to go in. A ver, chicas. Eh, me parece que la pelota no quiere entrar. Las chicas de Singapur están haciendo un trabajo muy bueno de defendiendo. Recién había un par de situaciones muy, muy de, eh, peligrosas. Esa pelota como que no quería entrar. Y bueno, parece que las chicas de Piraña se despabilaron un poquito y ahora están pudiendo hacer un poco más el juego. A ver, vamos a ver. Let's see. There's a bit of a chaos there. The defender is not in position, although uh, the fight is recovered. The ball and are trying to swim away. But <coughs> something happened. Okay, apparently gra uh, attack on the head, grabbing the head. That's a fall. So now it's a free throw for the Singapore girls. And now the uh, Pinanias need to be aware. Let's see. 2.34 a.m. in Singapore. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marina. Okay, let's see. <laughs> We're a bit uh, of a dark angle. I mean, we can't see they're on the surface and out of, of the camera they're coming and uh, that's the next player and Elena Elena I can see the name on the side and she tried to attack but went up and now that's I can't see who is in possession of the ball it looked like one of the piranhas got it but the fatty girls are there on the way and try to recover to continue with the attack with the pressure they need to be able to to build up more pressure like the piranhas just did just before the piranhas has encountered attack all the chicas de piranhas in contra-attack fue interceptada por eh, una de las atacantes de, de, del uh, FAT y ahora tenemos eh, bueno uno contra uno pero a ver la, 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 la el quedó vacía la, la, la portería 1 a 0 para piranhas gol para piranhas I uh, was really uh, a good uh, job from Piranhas. They they forced. I mean, right before that, they had been doing a lot of um, uh, waves of attack and creating a lot of, of risky situations for the fatties that always continue to save the situation. But right here, they could not any longer. And it's one zero for Piranhas. Nevertheless, it's four minutes left from the first game. We still have the second half, and it has been kind of tight. I mean, actually, the Piranhas girls really create more risky situations than the Faris, but the Faris ha haven't been really completely uh, harmless. So here we are, one against four, on the close corner, trying to fight against the goalie, but all of the Piranhas are onto her and trying to recover. But uh, the Faris still have the ball, they lost it, oh, and it's trying to fight against the defender, not possible. Next party on the ball and two piranhas onto her. And the third one in between the next uh, play um, team mates. And we are in the surface and they are trying to recover the ball. And the fatties have the ball and they just uh, almost uh, lost it. Now they are attacking. Their that was a very soft pass and it got intercepted by the defender. They're still fighting, the white team got it back, and now they're trying to dive in and attack. We can't see... Um, now we have the Piranhas and the basket of the Faris is now covered for a minute there. It took a little bit longer, you need to be fast down. And uh, we have everyone defending, attacking at the same time, pretty much. I can't see with the ball. Okay, now they have the attackers on the close side, but uh, the defenders are doing a great job. Now there's two girls fighting and is pushing without ball by uh, one of the piranhas. And uh, uh, one second, I'll be back. Uh, ah, okay, cool. All right, I'll be back. I am here, back. Sorry. All right, so let's see. We have in the surface 
uh, the Singapore team has the ball, they're trying to attack, they're coming four of them, they're passing then double passes between them, now they are all almost above the goal and pass it. They need to get deeper. And one, uh, I mean, one of the fatty girls has the goalkeeper of Piran and is pulling her up. Then pass the ball to the bottom, and um, there is a bit of a cluster there next to the basket. Piranha recovered the ball and is trying to see a counter attack. Got intercept, lost the ball, and um, recovered it and continue with the counter attack. There's two of the Piranha, three of the Piranhas, two of the fatties into position. Um, and they are going out, and now the fatties are all up, and the basket was empty, and it's two, zero, four piranhas. Great job, piranhas is dominating, is, uh, can define more the attack, is able to build up more pressure. I mean, las chicas de piranhas están pudiendo realmente eh, presionar más, eh, son más constantes en el ataque, tienen eh, la posición de la pelota por más tiempo y eh, logran generar y forzar el error a las chicas de Singapur que están haciendo muy buen trabajo, están, han intentado atacar, han atacado también pero los ataques de ellas no han sido tan tan peligrosos y no lo han podido hacer por tanto tiempo como Piranes Piranes está metiendo siempre en el medio, interceptando los pases y destruyendo eh, las olas de ataque. A ver, tenemos eh, a todas las chicas en la superficie peleando, menos a la portera de las piranhas. A ver, we have two piranhas down and everyone else fighting for the ball on the surface. Let's see. And the ball was dropped. The captain of piranhas has it in the hand. Something happened by the... Let's see. I can. Okay, that was the first half end. 2 0 for Piranha. <coughs> well, yeah. Joy Joy Jr. I think uh, the Faris started really good, but Piranhas uh, have been playing since a long time. They had. Um, there, they, they, the, the team suffered a little bit. Monza told me that kind of some went away, some got pregnant, and so they had to start building again. And now they are back, and they won the Spanish championships, and um, they came here out to the Champions Cup. They haven't been here in a few years, and but they do have experienced uh, players, and the Faris still are new into this, so. Even if maybe um, they are in conditionally talking and also physically speaking very similar, those years of difference and participating in the Champions Cup, uh, you really learn uh, a lot. You learn what the tricks are, what the things you can do, you know, which kind of yeah tactic you can use. I mean, and uh, still Piranhas, you know, compared to the other European teams, there is still a learning process. <coughs> But uh, with the Faris, they are the most experienced team. So we can see that that's a difference, that's a definition that they can achieve and they kind of keep on with the attack longer. They switch on from defense to attack faster. And well, that's you know all you need. And the Faris have done a great job so far. It's 2 0 the end half, and they have been even creating some risky situations. But what they cannot is continue with the attack for long enough. I mean, they do two or three waves and then there are a lot of fighting of the ball and then Piranhas normally get the counter attack. So, um, <coughs> how many teams in Spain, Barcelona and Piranhas? I believe it's Valladolid. Um, I mean, the Piranhas are from Valladolid. Uh, then we have Osos Madrid and I believe it's Barcelona. A ver, gente de España, ayúdenme. Creo que los tres... Eh, Well, um, Mari Paulsen, I, I, it has been an incident, I believe, in the last tournament. There was a problem with the temperature of the pool. I believe it was cold, and and the Barcelona girls didn't. Uh, they were. It was affecting uh, physically that, that the temperature was too slow. So they decided to not continue with the game, and because they didn't continue with the game, then for default, Piranhas won that game, and uh, because of that happening, Piranhas. 
uh, came here. I believe that's the what happened, and um, because they abandoned the game, right? Y um, osos creo que están en Madrid. A ver, um, la, hay tres equipos femeninos en la liga española. Está uh, Piranías de Valladolid, están las chicas de Barcelona y están los osos de Madrid, ¿no? Y hay más equipos masculinos o son tres y cada uno tiene masculino y femenino o hay más en la liga. A ver, ayúdenme con eso. A ver, tenemos ahora a las chicas de Singapur intentando atacar, pero Virania se ha recuperado de nuevo el balón y está en contraataque. Uh, let's see. Um, we are fighting in the middle of the pool. And now we are Piranhas coming on to the goalie of Singapore that just made it on on the basket on time. The defender arrived to help out. So good job. I mean, that could have been another goal. So it was a good job from the defender. And the ball is still in the Piranha team's end. The goalie is not completely uh, lying on top of the basket. as a big gap. The ball is like between the changing hands blue white blue white and now it's in the piranhas and it drops the, the next piranha got it number four and it's try and i would say it's almost cut at that one i'm not sure i'm going to check um i played with kata uh, in the past so i can recognize the body movement okay let's see um piranhas are still getting the ball the fatties are having a m problem to leave their area And now uh, the number four has uh, stalled the basket and is waiting, but it took too long and she had to leave. Let me see, I think. Number four, it is Kata, yes. Um, okay, let's see. A very well experienced player. Kata is originally from Colombia, moved to Europe many years ago and started playing from Piranhas then. Now I think she's living in France, but still play with Piranhas in the competition. All right, the Fatties are trying to go towards the Spanish basket, but they're not being very successful. And uh, let's see something. The ball was dropped. The referees show up. A seven minutes left. And what happened? They are calling the captain of each team. This is what I can see. And I would like to know. Well, we can't hear what they're saying. No. Hmm. Ah, okay. Dragon tatuado. Okay, I, that's what I thought. Que había tres eh, equipos. I also thought there was three, uh, three teams in Spain, and both have uh, male and female. A ver. Okay, I, I sadly I don't we need to s find a way to communicate with the referees. Let's see, all right. Apparently free throw for the team from Singapore. Yeah, Marina, I mean, uh, all of the teams uh, should get support. This, uh, you know, our, our sport. Okay, thank you. Hello, Lolita. Where have you been? You were lost in translation. <laughs> yes, lost in translation, having uh, very um, interesting talks with some players with uh, uh, from... Uh, Riksu and uh, players from uh, uh, with Christian Sheffield, Sheffield too. Yeah, he says hello to you. Oh, yeah. were you talking on the phone or what? No, 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 inside the pool area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. I thought he was in City of Chicken. He said four oh minutes away. No, no, he's away. back. He, he has a next game coming up okay. at uh, 8.30, I think. So, 
uh, female yeah. Spanish team against oh, uh, Singapore. Gonna get, yeah, and there's two zero for Piranhas. Uh, hold on a second. Hello, they're back. Sorry, we. Okay, let's see. Yes, um, Leones have started now, and they're playing under the radio. For now, they're only five persons, but they're training hard. We hope. Ah, perfecto. Y de dónde son los Leones? En Pamplona. Muy bien. Bueno, de a poquito, ¿no? Así se va construyendo el deporte. A ver. Let's see what's going on now. They're. Uh, did I miss a goal again? Yeah, three zero. Sorry, we. <laughs> We're multitasking a little roughly. Oh, that was a really close one for a second there. The basket was it was a gap, but uh, the piranhas uh, could uh, uh, let's see. We have the fatties attacking, but the defenders are uh, very well into position. I mean, Spain is doing a good job. Kata now has the ball and is trying to swim away, but two fatties attack her, and she cannot leave. I mean, they're giving everything, both teams. And um, Piranha has been able to attack a bit more consistently. We were discussing a bit the league in Spain, that so far we have uh, okay. three teams and three cities and uh, now uh, they are starting the l uh, Lions in Pamplona, so it's, it's great um, to know that... Yes, the, the yes I like I their Facebook page. I know that you are a little bit uh, complicated with Me. the pools, no, 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 in, in Spain, in Spain yes, yes. because they don't have a very deep pools and they are building lower pools. So that's a challenge for the sport. Okay, we have the piranhas right under the basket. And um, the buddies are giving everything. We have the attacker on the open side. But, uh, wow, good job. Still in possession. Kata has the ball and she's trying to pass it. Pass it to the next player that is going onto the close side. And pass it down to the next one. And now it's... Um, Let's see, I can see they're trying to attack the goalie, but uh, they're pulling them being pulled up by the players and uh, um, still in possession of the ball. I mean, really, they are uh, very uh, good uh, on attacking the Piranhas against the Fadis, and the Fadis are doing a, a great job defending as well so far. Do how, do how did the I didn't see it. I was outside in the uh, pool area taking pictures of uh, Rixu and uh, the Colombians. How did the three uh, goals happen, Lorena? The three goals happened. I mean, the first two happened uh, during the game because they have been pressuring, 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 and eventually the basket was empty. It's like all the parties okay. went up. And See, yeah, yeah. So and the third goal happened as we were talking and we were not watching. All right. So I missed So, so uh, do you think it's uh, the, the difference in the experience of the two teams? Um, the Piranhas now with uh, in with a lot of experience from the last years. I was just talking with Christian Schaeffer about it. Um, the the old teams who have been the the easy to defeat teams are have grown like uh, yeah. uh, Piranhas. The men yeah. uh, did quite a good job, yeah. and the women too. I think uh, they they learn. Yeah. And uh, when new teams come in, you see the difference. How much harder? You see the difference much better. Yeah. Uh, um, in, th in the past, they would have lost. I don't know. I mean, not with in this team, but against other teams, like like I don't know, thirty zero or so. And now it's that ten goals down, and that's you know. Yeah, quite easy. <laughs> but uh, um, I was just saying to uh, Christian too, for the fatties, it's a big experience. Another attack and and another goal. Uh, textbook attack. Uh, wrap your arms around the goalkeeper and lift him up and put the ball back in the back from the back into the goal. Um, but this weekend will push the fatties forward um, 
you cannot compare the experience with anything else you have because there is so much to learn so much you see and this will take them years to 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 digest and put into their training so even even though you can say what are what are they doing here they're losing so high it's so important for them i'm so happy they're here Yes, yes, and they're the, no, the, but they're still doing a great job. Imagine they're new, and this is just a 4 0. Yes. This yes. is amazing. Is, uh, the, the game is over, 20 seconds, nothing, and 4 0 for a team that have never been here and then doesn't have the possibilities to play against uh, other teams very often. They yes. probably participate in the Pan Pacific Cup, and that's it. Otherwise, they're training yeah. among themselves. That's a great, great uh, performance. And uh, we have to ask uh, Vinny if he can put us uh, micros from the uh, yeah, pool area. I thought this one was it, but yeah, but really it's not working no anymore not really um, because the atmosphere in the pool area is quite great. Mm, and I this is the end of the second half. Yeah. Four zero for Piranhas. How many games do we have uh, for the rest of the day, Lorena? Four. And my brain is is la frozen. It's, it's, it's dying out slowly. But you're still beautiful. Yeah, but empty in my head. <laughs> well, 